What's up, Team Hollywood, and what's up, my Madden 25 fans? It's your man, Hollywood Sports. If you are new to this channel, thank you for clicking on my video, and welcome to Hollywood Sports. Guys, we are back on our Washington Commanders franchise in Madden 25, and uh, we just tied our first game against the uh, uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, guys. Our first game. We should have won that game, but we didn't. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back. Yeah, against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, man, it was 10 to 10. I didn't really understand the overtime rules if you didn't see the video. We could have kicked the field goal and won it, but I didn't know. I was trying to score a touchdown because I'm thinking the other team's going to get the ball and they're going to try to get going. So I wanted to score a touchdown, but we had if we had to kick the field goal, we would have won the game. So we let the clock run out, didn't know, and it was a tie game. But now, in week two, we're going up against the New York Giants. We're not playing that game right now. We're going to do our press conference and all that stuff. But I want to I want to look at some news from week one, guys. Um, actually, let's do it on the screen so we don't have to move. You see right there, that, let's go to the top right here. We see game of the week, man. C.J. Stroud right there on my right. Um, and the Texans welcome the Bears in a game of the week. So we know the Texans and the Bears are going heads up. And then we have a quarterback battle. Tua Tagovailoa, however you pronounce his name. All eyes are on the rivals, Tua Tagovailoa and Josh Allen, as they face off um, the week. Face as they face off the, this week. So we got the Miami Dolphins and the Buffalo Bills. Then it says Ben McKinney. Outplays Antonio Bonds. Cornerback uh, Ben McKinney got the best of his much anticipated showdown with wide receiver Antonio Bonds. Oh, Jared Goff is in the news. He threw for 211 yards um, for 73% of his passes completed for four touchdowns. That's a very good game for uh, Jared Goff, man. That's a very, very good game. Then we have Kenneth Walker of the Seattle Seahawks, um, halfback. He ran for 122 yards. He had seven attempt and two rushing touchdowns. Wow. He only had seven um, rushes, man, for 122 yards. What a game. It says Seattle Seahawks, um, our guy Kenneth Walker, this third, left left it all out on the field today and then you got the rookie man welcome to the NFL Caleb Williams of Chicago Bears Caleb Williams starts um, the year uh, um, um, one with an impressive debut uh, he definitely got a lot of talent and also Joe Burrows in the news coming off of injury plague season last season um, he threw for 340 yards 73% of his passes completed, two touchdowns. Wow. We see you, Burrow says. We see you. And then our rookie of our Washington Commanders, quarterback Jaden Daniels. Commanders wasn't uh, uh, want to prove experts that the offense is a strength. And we will do that. We will show that our offense is a strength. But then we got my Terry McLaurin says, this kid has a chance to be special, but he's got to sit and learn first. And Terry McLaurin, he is not sitting, guys. He's Jaden Dang is going to be our starter. Terry McLaurin, um, appreciate what coaches are doing. All right. Then it says 32 teams, um, 18 weeks, 272 games. Rejoice, football fans. The NFL is actually back. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and look. I got. A, I think I got a few draft classes I want to do, but I'm not going to do them right now. I need to look them up, make sure I get a, a good one. I've been watching videos on draft classes, uh, actually college players that's going to be in the draft. Um, but let's go to storyline news message. It's a rookie blueprint. Let's see what they're talking about. All right, coach. We're going to spend extra time developing the rookie quarterback. Um, great. We'll we'll work on everything, but is there any general area you want to develop his game? Um, 
accuracy. Any anything specific? Deep accuracy. Well, get started right away and report back at the end of the year with our progress. You now we're talking to the offensive coordinator. All right, let's go to Storylines press conference. Media availability. Week two press conference. I wish they had voice acting in this thing, man. I did put a message on Twitter, though. Next question. Coach, how do you feel about the result in your season opener? Obviously not happy with how we played. Which side of the ball struggled more? Offense. Our offense has to make more plays. That's true. Who needs to play better this week? Jaden Daniels, Austin Eckler, Terry McLaurin, the O-line. I'm sure your players will have a uh, reaction to you. Mind games. The O-line is motivated for better after, after your comments. They'll receive plus three boosts to run block for the next game. All right, guys, we have some messages, so let's go check them out. We got two messages. This week's practice, um, Ben Hunter, it seems like the team is pretty tired this week. We might want to split reps in practice to give our starters a break and get some of the other guys out there. Go to weekly strategy. Do I really want to do that? No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Scouting report for the Giants. We're facing two really great linebackers this week. Be ready for middle linebacker um, Bobby O'Karake, whatever his name is, and right outside linebacker Brian Burns. Okay. Promise. Offensive coordinator Roger Hughes. Your promise that your team would rush for 1,300 yards this season. It's the regular season. Hey coach, hope you're ready for the season ahead of us. Let's get out there and show them some great football. And then the scouting report for the Buccaneers. Oh, that this is old, that's week one news. That's right, this is week one news up there. Yeah. Okay, we good. We good. Okay, let's back out. Um, let's manage the staff real quick. We do got 20 points. I don't know if we can do anything. Let's go to the offensive coordinator. Um, he's got two of three. That is 20 points. Boost stamina for halfbacks. Wide receivers and tight ends by two. Let's go ahead and get the third one. Yes. Beautiful. All right. All right, guys. That was a real quick video. Wait a minute. We got some more messages here. Oh, it's not. It's not going to go away until uh. Until uh, we get to next week. Wait, we're on the right side. We say it says top stories motivated. Brandon Coleman. He's our left tackle. I guess it says he's motivated. <laughs> and we already read the rest of this stuff. Yeah, we already read the rest of this stuff. Alright guys, so stay tuned. We're gonna be playing the New York Giants at home. You see, I like these stats here. Let's go back. Uh, offensive points per game. The Giants scored 21 points in their first game. And they're ranked 10th with 240 passing yards. 84 rushing yards. They're 9th at 20 uh, points for their opponents. And 20th, 232 yards offensive passing yards. Wow. And they're 6th 
for opponents rushing yards. So they're holding up opponents to 65 yards in the first game. That's pretty good. But guess what? The Commanders are 14th, baby. I mean, first, we held our opponent to 14 yards rushing. We should have won that game, man. With third uh, opponent score, which is 10 because it was 10 to 10. Uh, passing yards 169, rushing yards 78. If we can get a hundred passing yards per, I mean hundred rushing yards per game, I think that'll set up our passing game. We got to get our running game going, and we should be okay. All right, guys. All we have to do now is go uh, get ready for your vi our video. Um, stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button on your way out. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we get ready to go heads up against the New York Giants. I'm Hollywood Sports. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on my next video.